Cleaning to our YouTubers is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of an unboxing. These are my Japanese toys and if you ever wonder where I get my Japanese toys at, I get it from HLJ Hobby Link Japan, HLJ.com and AmiAmi, that's A-M-I-A-M-I.com. So if you want to check those out, yeah, that's what I use. I usually get a package from them pretty much every week. Yeah, <laughs> hardcore. So if you want to see where I get these goods, there it is. Check them out. I really like them. They only take like a week or two to get here. And while I'm discussing that, let me go ahead and start cutting this up. Dang it. almost sliced myself doing that. So be careful when you're using a box cutter. <laughs> there we go. Alright. As you can see, one thing I, I don't like about these boxes, they have these cute little things. I love this little cute little thing over here saying, hey, thank you for shopping. Uh, yeah, the only thing I really don't like is this. I only got four toys, so they went buck wild with the packaging. Uh, this little transformer looking thing, it was kind of neat. Uh, I forget what it was called. So yeah, I want to get it with 300 yen. <laughs> I want to, for some odd reason, I just felt compelled to buy that. Yep, uh, I forget this girl's name from Miki Tosin. Kanu Uncho, of course. And this is the the box. This is what I was waiting for. Ooh, I also got this. Look how tiny uh, good old Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece is. <laughs> That's cute. Wow. But this, this is what I paid the big money for. Garland. Yeah, it's 115 scale. I don't know if you can tell. This is what I, why I paid so much to get this darn box through EMS. And I'll tell you what. EMS... Only use it if you have to. All right, let's see what else I got. Hobby Link Japan, right? Well, let's finish up the Ami Ami box. I'm gonna turn it upside down because the packing slip is on there. So there we go. Just like that. I cannot cut this right to save my life. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of cutting this. I wanted to show you this one because we got a cool few transformers here. There we go. That's good old blue from I Akiba. What what was that? I forgot that uh, Power Ranger stuff. I forget Super Sentai series. Excuse me, it escapes me. That's blue. That's the unofficial Akiba version. Oh yeah, Shockwave. There's a Japanese Shockwave for you. AM29 and Japanese Ultra Magnus. You badass, huh? Cool. And. From Hobby Link Japan, hlg.co.jp. And that's another thing, you're gonna have to put the JP on there. There's the box. Yeah, Japanese guys don't look, don't use bubble wrap, they use that, uh, what do you call that stuff? Paper, duh. All right, I got a few more products. At the end of the beginning of the year, they had like a super 500 yen special. So I bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, forgot what I paid for it, Gokai Silver. So that's another Super Sentai. <laughs> this thing, uh, I just like the mage thing. I, I, I had to buy it. It was 100 yen for crying out loud. So yeah, I mean, why not? It was on sale. I love the end of the year at Japanese stores. So I forgot what I paid for that. Good old Robot Spirits Damashi. Haven't, don't mess with that. Shinken Red. Yeah, again, that was on sale. So. Red Buster for the Tokume Sentai Go Busters. Yeah, that Red Buster. Oh yeah, we have a problem with birds here. That's why they, they don't shoot them, but they try to scare them off. And this thing right here, can't tell from upside down. Oh, here we go. Shin Getter 2. Badass. All right, beautiful. HLJ.com, AmiAmi.com. Check it out. That's all I got. Catch y'all next time.